Good evening and welcome to the girls soccer Western Mass Finals. We're off to a little bit of a late start due to uh, technical difficulties, but we are, or you're joining us in the second half of this game. It is currently one to nothing with a goal by Emma Cantanzariti assisted by Gabby Machowski. And so far it's been a pretty back and forth game. Taylor DeFlorio is having a great game. She made an outstanding save towards the end of the first half. And now we are gonna see what is going to come in the second half versus the Ludlow Lions. Referee blows the whistle and that will set East Long Meadow up for a throw in. That's directed towards Mecha. Now Ludlow with it. It's Roman passing it over to Mecha. Mecha sends it over to Cantanzariti. Cantanzariti moving with it. She sends it to Smith. Smith trying to send the ball right side. Deflects and now it's back at midfield. It's Tallis with it. She sends it back to Machowski. Machowski over to Brown. Now Ludlow trying to clear it. Tallis sends it back to Machowski. Machowski running with it. She'll send it far to Cantanzariti on the right side. Now Cantanzariti looking at options. She sends it to Mecha. Mecha to Brown in the middle. That's defended. Mecha now to Smith. Smith with a shot and it hits the post. And that ball will go out behind the flag, so it'll end up in a East Long Meadow corner kick. What a shot. Just barely missed, hit the post. And now that sets up Tallis for a corner kick here, where East Long Meadow will try to capitalize. Sent to the middle, and it's scooped up by Ludlow's goaltender. Now Davis with it to Morneau. Morneau back to Krakowia. Now Davis again, she tries to send it to Smith. It's defended, now Tall is sending it up. That's Cantanzariti with it. She tries to send a through ball to Brown. She, Brown receives it, but it's defended, and now it almost makes its way out of bounds. Now, he's some metal trying to go the other way with it. It's more no. She sends it to Smith. It's defended. And it ends up with Kakovia. Ball stolen from her, and now Ludlow going the other way. And DeFlorio comes out to scoop that up, to take away that opportunity. DeFlorio sends it towards midfield. And. The ref will call a free kick. So now, Kakovia will set up with it. And it's Machowski, she tries to play it, but it's stolen and now Ludlow going the other way with it. It's sent to the middle. A shot from deep outside, and DeFlorio is able to grab onto that. And she'll wait for her team to set up. She sends it out towards midfield. That ball is headed by Cantanzariti over to Smith. Smith with it on the left side. She cuts to the middle. Nice little give and go. And that ball is defended out of bounds. So it'll be Davis setting up for the throw in here. Davis over to Cantanzariti. Cantanzariti to the middle. And now an opportunity. 
but Brown misses on the volley and it's getting cleared now. Ludlow with it. It's stolen, it's Tallis now. Tallis sends it to Cantanzariti. Cantanzariti to Morneau. Morneau with an attempted through pass, it's intercepted. That ball is almost immediately stolen back. Now it's Ludlow with it again. Carrying cross midfield. And sent to the middle, a shot. And what a save by DeFlorio. A great save on a great opportunity. So now that'll set up Ludlow for a corner kick. Sent to the middle and it is missed and it'll now roll out of bounds off a Ludlow attacker. And that'll be DeFlorio setting up for the goal kick here. Sent out to the middle. It's Ludlow with it now. A nice little move to the outside. And it's sent towards Ludlow's striker, but it's defended off by Kokovia. And it's placed out of bounds. That was a handball on Ludlow. It'll set up Kokovia here for a free kick with 32 minutes remaining. It's placed to the middle, it's Brown with it. Brown sends it to Mecha. Metro with a chip pass directed towards Cantanzariti, but it was a little short, and now it'll be Roman setting up to take the throw in. It's Roman to Brown. Brown boxing out. She'll get by, and she is tripped up for a free kick just outside 20 yards. And now Esau Meadow setting up inside the box, getting ready to receive this. I believe it's Machowski with the ball. Machowski sends it to the middle, but it's defended. And now Ludlow going the other way, but it's, no it's not, it's, Ludlow with a great breakout and they're now almost able to get a great attack going, but a free kick will be called about 55 yards out from the goal. And Ludlow will look to power this towards the net. Let's see if they can get ahead on it. And DeFlorio is able to scoop that up. As she sends it out to half field with her punt. Now it's Morneau with it. Morneau carrying past midfield. She sends it to Cantanzari. Cantanzari with a through pass to Brown. 
Now Brown trying to carry and she gets tripped up. And they will call it. They will call it Ludlow's way. And a substitution will be coming in for Ludlow. It'll be Emma Ellis coming in for Ludlow. That ball goes out of bounds. It's Machowski now, or sorry, Roman with the ball. She'll throw, make the throw in. It's played towards Mecha. Chowski will now try and send it over to Mecha, but it's defended, and now Ludlow is going the other way with numbers, but it goes out of bounds. And that will set up Esau Meadow with a throw in. Now Brown with it. She tries to play it. And now, Ludlow with an opportunity in the middle it's getting volleyed around, and DeFlorio will grab it out of the air, make the play, and now she's setting up for her punt. She sends it way past midfield. Now Cantan's really competing for it. Ludlow is going the other way. It's defended by Davis. Davis will try and make a pass on field. It'll get to Smith but it's stolen away. It's now Kokovia making the play up to Cantanzariti. Cantanzariti with a nice move. She sends a through ball far up to Brown. And it'll be Esau Meadow now with the throw in. Abby Davis setting up. Smith with it. Smith tries to make the play, but it goes out of bounds. Brown cutting towards the middle off the throne, and it'll be scooped up after a shot with a nice save by the Ludlow goaltender. It's now sent out to the middle. It's Tia Tallis with it. Tia sending a great through ball to Brown, and Brown with an opportunity and sent on net, but it just goes wide. And Esau Meadow almost with an opportunity to make this game two to nothing. But Brown sends it just inches to right. as the goalie comes out to try and play her. Provost trying to play that, and now Cantanzariti is able to make a play on it, but is defended off, and now as Brown taps that out of bounds, it'll be a Ludlow goal kick. Provost sends it up. That's headed. Now Ellis trying to make a play on it. More no. Setting up to defend it will be 
a foul called and a free kick that follows. Love those setting up for a sub. That ball is played towards the Sun Metal box, but it's defended by Mecha. Once again, sent towards DeFlorio, but DeFlorio is there to scoop it up. And she will immediately send it out, directed towards Cantanzariti. It's intercepted now. It's now Ellis with it. She'll make a play, but Smith is able to defend it, and she'll tap it over to Davis. Morneau fighting for it, and a foul will be called, which will set up Abby Davis. Or no, she sends it to Kakovia for a free kick. It'll immediately be played up to Brown. It's just a bit too far now. Cantanzariti vying for it. And she'll let it go out of bounds as it is now an East Long Meadow throw in where Abby Davis will set up to play it. And it's sent to the middle. And Brown was almost there to play it in. But the goaltender, Provost, scoops it up. Now Ludlow going the other way with it. And Ludlow trying to play it. They'll send it up. A shot from outside. And once again, DeFlorio able to scoop it up with 22.45 remaining in this second half of the Western Mass Finals. So now DeFlorio will play it far out to midfield, far past midfield, and now Cantanzariti is able to try and play it. She's getting boxed out, and now it's sent up and cleared, but Davis is able to receive. Davis to Tallis. Tallis will send it up the left side to Smith. Now Smith vying for it. And Ludlow is able to steal and go the other way. It's Davis trying to defend, and Kokovia stepping up too. It'll be played out of bounds. Number seven, Julia Matus is subbed in for Ludlow, and Maddie LaHoulier is subbed in for East Salt Meadow at that whistle. ends up out of bounds. And DeFlorio will set up for the goal kick. DeFlorio sending it towards the Morneau, and Morneau playing it over to Smith. Smith isn't able to get there before it goes out of bounds. It will now be Ellis setting up. She'll play it over to her teammate, and now Davis with it for the throw, and after it goes out of bounds, Davis to Smith, it's defended off, and now DeFlorio sets up as it, the ball comes to her hands. Florio sends it to midfield. 
And it is Brown with it. She tries to send a through ball. It's a bit too far, and now it's Ludlow going the other way. And now Roman with it. It almost gets out to Brown, but it's Ludlow with it at midfield now. And Davis trying to play it. It goes off of a Ludlow player and out of bounds. And now East Salmetto has the throw in. It's played to Smith. So now it's going the other way. And Kakovia will be there to play it. And she will let it roll out of bounds, which will set DeFlorio up for the goal kick. With 18.55 remaining, DeFlorio sends it towards Morneau. It's a little bit too high, and now Ludlow with it at center field, and they're trying to get something going. On the outside, a cross to the middle, and it gets by everybody, and it will roll out of bounds on the left side of the field for a throw in. A play on the right side, crossing it to the middle, and what well, would have been a great opportunity for Ludlow if anybody was home, ends up out of bounds on the left side of the field. It's now Smith with it. She's moving, and she tries to play it toward, past midfield but it is defended. And now that ball sets back and it'll be Machowski who plays the free kick. Ludlow moving it. It gets through Ludlow's attacker's feet, but now a breakaway opportunity, and DeFlorio is able to make the save on the shot. After Ludlow's attacker cannot get a foot on it, or not a good foot on it, DeFlorio is able to scoop that one up. And now Ludlow with it back in their own territory. It's Smith making a great play on it. She tries to play it before it gets out of bounds, but cannot. Substitutions for East Long Meadow, number nine, Adelaide Jordan. Adelaide Jordan will get subbed in. And Sophia, I'm gonna Butcher this name, Skakirka maybe? Gets subbed in for Ludlow. Ludlow with it at midfield. They play it back to their backs, and now they're moving up field with speed. Sent to their striker, and it'll be too far, and DeFlorio is able to run up and scoop it up for another great play. DeFlorio will boot it out to midfield. That's Jordan. She tries to make a play with it. It's now going the other way. And Krakovia will defend it, pass it over to Morneau. Now Jordan with a great defensive play. It's played to Lafoulier. And now a through ball. 
and it's just inside the box for Provost to play it. And Provost has some words for the referee. Not happy, I guess, about something that Brown did. She boots it past midfield. It's Kakovia there. And Kakovia is essentially hip checked. but the referees will have a discussion and they will call it the other way. And an interesting call will now go Ludlow's way for a free kick. I believe there is a sub. No, there's not. Okay. So now Ludlow playing it on the right side. And Cantan's already defending it out of bounds. It'll be a Esau Meadow throw in now. And a sub is made. as Mecha comes in, as well as Ainsley Smith, and Jordan and LaHoulier come out. That ball ends up out of bounds. It'll be a Ludlow throwing. A cross over to the middle and a attempted shot on net is grabbed by DeFlorio. DeFlorio plays it to midfield. It's to Brown. Brown trying to make a head on it. It's now going the other way. And that ball ends up out of bounds. And a corner kick now for Esau Meadow. And Provost will scoop that up. She sends it towards midfield, towards Tallis, there to defend. And that ball ends up out of bounds. It'll be Roman on the right side for Isam Meadow there to take the throw in. Roman tries to play it. More no, but it'll be deflected out of bounds. There's 10.30 remaining in the second half. As that ball goes out of bounds, it's Mia Mecha there to make the quick throw in. She plays it towards Brown. It's directed out towards Morneau. But now Ludlow going the other way with it after her steal. And Smith will get called for a foul there, which will set Ludlow up for a free kick at about midfield. ball 
is played out towards the box of East Almeto. And now Ludlow with a chance and a deep shot. She gets a good foot on it, but it's too high, which will give DeFlorio a goal kick here. DeFlorio playing it out towards Morneau. Morneau to Cantanzariti. Cantanzariti with a great through ball to Brown on the right side. And Brown now trying to play it to the middle, but it's defended. It's Mecha now with it. Mecha playing it to Brown. Brown with a nice pass to Cantanzariti. Cantanzariti trying to make a move with it in the middle. And then lefty shot from the outside is Saved by Provost. A great save. And she will now clear it out. It's Smith there to defend this time. Smith playing it to Cantanzariti. Cantanzariti with a nice cut move to the left. She'll make a through ball to Brown. Brown with a, an attempted through ball towards Smith. It's unsuccessful now and Ludlow going the other way with it. But that pass is too far. It's Machowski now. Machowski just booting it out of out of their territory. And now Davis making the head ball on that. It's Morneau with it. Morneau just boots it. And there's 755 remaining in the Western Mass final between the Ludlow Lions and the East Salm Meadow Spartans. And Ludlow subs Ariana Soares in. It's Ludlow now trying to tie this game up with only seven and a half minutes remaining. the West Springfield home turf. It's Davis now. Davis making a play. She'll try and clear it. It's now Morneau trying to defend. Morneau is able to box her opponent out. A deep ball and DeFlorio setting up to play it and she will just step into that Ludlow attacker, she's now checking to see if she's okay. And she struggles to get up. It'll now be a conversation between the two referees as to what will happen here. I don't think that there can be any call against Isan Meadow as it was DeFlorio making a play on the ball and she is the goaltender. So. I do not believe they can call her on that. So that will just be a throw in for Ludlow. And Davis will tap that out of bounds. Six and a half minutes remaining. Ellis making a play over to the middle. Now Ludlow with it at the middle and they try and make a play to the box but Tallis is there to defend. It's booted once again towards the box. And it's Smith now with it on that East Salt Meadow clear. And now Davis, Davis just bombs it upfield. And it'll be a foot race now to it. It does not go out of bounds. It's Brown with it now in the corner. She'll tr try to cross it to the middle. And now Ludlow has to defend it out of bounds. Davis now with the throw in. And it'll be Cantanzariti with a deep shot from outside. 
but it'll go left of the net, and now Provost will set up for a goal kick with just, just over five minutes remaining in this Western Mass Finals game. Provost kicks it. It's played out to the middle to Morneau. Morneau loses it, and now Ludlow going the other way. A long through ball, and DeFlorio trying to step up to make a play on, and she dives for it and grabs on. And just barely stays in the box. And as five minutes remains, it'll now go to referee's time. So we will be unsure when this game will end. It's Smith making a play on it now. Machowski now with the free kick from outside. And she uses her leg to put it towards the middle. It's played towards Brown. Now Tallis gets a foot on it. And that ball, ball will roll out of bounds. And two balls are now on the field. Provost will now set up for the goal kick here. As Ludlow will be trying to tie it up in these final minutes of this game. It's Mecha now making the playoff Morneau. Ludlow now with the ball. They will try to set something up here. They have a free kick. It's played towards midfield. Moving the ball up. Ludlow with it on the outside, a through ball to the right. And it is too far, which will give DeFlorio the goal kick. It has been about two minutes since it has gone to referee's time, which is the last five minutes of this game. So we will presume that there is around three minutes left when DeFlorio sets up for the goal kick. DeFlorio playing it. It's now Machowski trying to make a play on it to defend. And she is successful, but that ball will roll out behind the goal line, which will give Ludlow a corner kick as they rush to set up. Ludlow with a big opportunity here. They have to capitalize soon. In these last couple minutes, it's sent to the middle, and DeFlorio steps up on it. It's now Ludlow with it. It's a scramble for the ball, and now Brown is able to clear it out of bounds. That ball is immediately played in. And now Cantanzariti trying to make a defensive play. It'll be a shot from outside and she cannot get enough power behind it so DeFloria will scoop it up. DeFlorio kicking it out. Cantan's really plays it. Now Ludlow will have to try and go the other way in their own territory. Roman now defending. She's able to get control. She sends it out of bounds, which will give Ludlow a throw in here. Ludlow playing it. And it has been a little over four minutes 
since referee's time was called, which is the last five minutes, so. We will be ending this game very shortly. If Ludlow is unable to score a goal here, it's now Kent Hanzaridi. And now the referees will call it. And Esau Meadow, girls varsity soccer, is Western Mass champions. What a game with Cantanzariti's lone goal, assisted by Gabby Machowski and Esau Meadow. Girls varsity soccer are champions. What a great game as Ludlow's season comes to an end. And a great game by DeFlorio and Nett as we come to an end. You saw Meadow, girls varsity soccer are the Western Mass champions. As they celebrate with their team. What a game. Thank you for joining us on LCAT as we are going to be filming the boys varsity soccer game for Esau Meadow in the Western Mass Finals as well. Also against the Ludlow Lions. We'll see if Esau Meadow can go 2-0 today or if Ludlow will even the playing field. What a game. Thank you for joining us, folks.